Hey guys, JH. Okay, what we're going to do today is give you a little bit of a knockdown on why I believe that most people can't putt. The reason they can't putt consistently. No one ever has, probably with the exception of Bobby Locke and Count Yogi. But even Jack had his off periods and everybody's done it. And I believe it's because of the way we set ourselves up relative to our parallax error in difference. And parallax error is, guys, is the way that we perceive things from an ocular acceptance point of view. If you're right eye dominant or left eye dominant, you will see things in a different place. Parallax error is the change of, the apparent change of position of, a, of an object when viewing it. It's an apparent change. It's only because the eyes have a dominancy. Now, well, when we putt generally, guys, if we stand over the ball and we go like this, and we're right eye, if we're right eye dominant, and we putt with the ball up here, our right eye's back here. And invariably a right-handed person, when they stand over the golf ball, when they putt, as soon as the head goes down, because the eyes are a balancing mechanism as well, the eyes want to stand you up. So they skew, they tend to do that. And invariably a right-handed person will aim way right at their target when they putt. Unless they're skilled and schooled at getting rid of that. But even the Tiger did it. Tiger's done it in periods of his career. He does it now. He aims right and pulls the ball. And there's some very good putters out there that do that. Now they can do it occasionally, but you can't do it all the time. So what I'm saying, guys, is I think that you have to take advantage of, of your true parallax error and work with the dominant eye. Now I'm right eye dominant. Now for me, the way for me to, to use my right eye and get good visual acuity and a really good bead on the target is to use my right eye in position over the ball. Now how do I do that? My right eye, to get in position over the ball, it can never be in position over the ball there, but it can certainly be in position over the ball there. This is what we call right vertical axis. And we get the right eye over the golf ball, and we set up this way. We have this foot here, we have this foot, this leg here in this support situation, and we're here. And my right eye is right over the ball, guys. So my acceptance and evaluation of the line is very, very good and real. I actually know where the target is, what it looks like down the line. aiming at that target there, invariably the player will plonk himself down, get in this position here, to be aiming way off to the right. What I do is I have a look with binocular vision here, with binocular vision here, I look at the target, I then set the putter to the, to the target line, then I put this right foot in, as close as I can, absolutely as close as I can. Now I then get my right eye directly over the golf ball. I putt left hand down because I think mechanically and geometrically and from a geometry point of view that's the most efficient way. Get your hands as close as you can if you're going to putt left hand down like Jordan Speed because it gives you good triangulation, it gives you good shoulder and arm integrity. So guys here it is. See how close my foot is to the ball? I'm right over it with my right eye. Here. I'm in position. Here. Now the secret of this, or if another secret of this, is to get your, your right foot as absolutely as close to the ball as you possibly can. Because what that does is that eliminates arc. The other single biggest killer in putting is arc. If you're away like this, guys, you're going to be an arc putter. And you can't control the amount of arc. That's the problem. So we need to eliminate the arc. And if we get close here like this, the arc is eliminated. We can just go backwards and forwards like a metronome, like that. If you're left eye dominant, you would do it this way. You would have the left foot forward, up here. Left eye dominant. You have to do an eye dominancy test. You can go onto YouTube, you'll see how to do that. It's just this, with both eyes open, then close one on an object, and whenever the object disappears, or when it stays there, that's the eye that's dominant. So left eye dominant, <coughs> we would putt here, guys. Right eye dominant, we would putt here. It's as simple as that. Now the advantage is that it's a very, very uh, small corridor of 
motion backwards and forwards and it's basically metronomic in that it will just do that and you generate a lot of power when you're in the vertical plane. When you're in the the inclined plane there's a lot of flippiness and you have to balance the putter. If you're out here guys you've got to balance the putter there. I have to balance that when I take it back and that puts pressure on the putting stroke. I don't want to do that but when I'm here the putter's balanced out. I don't feel any weight on the end of the putter wanting to do that. Very important facet. So okay, we look at the target like this. We then put the putter down. We bring the foot up. Here. Then we take our, our hands position. Here. And the putter Putter can do that, guys. Look, that's as straight a motion as you can ever get. Okay, there's a couple of guys on the green here. We'll just wait till they move. So we'll just cut here, and uh, I'll come back and I'll hit some shots for you, or some putts for you. We'll be back. <laughs> 